What's happening, my people? It's your boy, Biba King of the Attic Collectibles and more. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the most recent pickups I got for comic books. I got this gold foil logo cover for Tomb Raider, Volume 1, 1999 through 2005. Tower Records gold foil exclusive cover. That's pretty dope. They have an issue one, too, that was a Tower Records exclusive, but I don't have that one yet. Uh, we got the old school James O'Barr comic book. Pretty cool art. Love James O'Barr, especially The Crow. Had to pick that up. This is the Go Logo edition too, by the way. See that? Bam, bow. Red Sonja, volume four, regular cover. Red Sonja's always cool. The Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, y'all know nothing about that. I used to watch this with my little girls when they were little. They loved Powerpuff Girls, and that was my favorite character right there, Mojo Jojo. Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls, Powerpuff Girls, and my favorite thing Mojo Jojo used to say was, Curses Powerpuff Girls! <laughs> they got quite a few Powerpuff Girls here, so I kind of collect these as a uh, homage to my daughters. We got the old school Elf Quest. I always loved the Elf Quest comic books, I was never able to get any as a kid, so I've been picking them up as an adult. We got the Gambit full miniseries from 1997. Gambit is an awesome dude. Remy LeBeau, I love Gambit. He's such an awesome character. We got the Rivers, the Three Rivers Comic Con Preview Guide exclusive. 2016 autographed. Yeah, look at that. Signed by these people. I'm not even going to uh, attempt to pronounce their names because I always butcher these weird names. But I do know that guy there is an awesome artist. Love his uh, Dawn art he always draws. We got the Street Fighter, Volume 1, 1994 issue, number one. We got the Nera X, old school throwback bad girl comic book. I always loved these comic books back in the day. Those were also something I couldn't get as a kid. We got Zen the Intergalactic Ninja, regular cover signed by Bill. And this is like a gold foil cover, too. Look at that. Bam! That bad boy is nice. Then we got the regular cover here. Well, this is actually a special limited edition cover. It says it's limited to 3,000 copies. Um, it's not foil or anything. It looks like it is, but it's not. Then we got Zen the Intergalactic Ninja number 1, volume 1, 1993 regular cover. And it's got the little foil cover on, foil on the cover, too. Second issue with the foil, also signed. Gotta love the signed stuff. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, this is issue two again, signed. I believe that's a different. Oh, it's just two different signatures I have there. Okay. Then we got volume one, 1993, also signed. Gotta love it with the foil cover. Love them foil covers. Uh, we got the Empire Attacks Back crossover. It's pretty cool. Uh, then they have this one. This is part of Series 2, Return of the One Eye. We got the old school Fem 5. Awesome art. Also, also, wow, also, also, also autographed. Got the other Fem 5, Untold Wars, autographed, one shot. Cover 1A. And we got this foil cover of Crusader. I guess that's what you call it. It's a one shot and it's also autographed. Then we got the Snowman. Man, I used to love these Snowman comic books as a, as a teenager growing up. But I could never get them. Because, you know, this was like small press comic books back in the day. And not a lot of comic book shops would uh, pick up the small press, the small press stuff. So... It was uh, not very easy to get these type of comic books back when I was growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s. But they're now a little bit easier to find nowadays, but pretty expensive too still. We got the Black Panther coloring book. That's pretty cool. Found this at, um, what's that store called? Uh, Ollie's. Ollie's always has some good deals on things. I found this there too. Color Your Own Civil War Marvel book. I found the Color Your Own Deadpool book there, too. Then I found this there, Pinups Past and Present. 
Now, this is a pretty cool book. It's hardback. Hardback book. And it's got all kinds of different art in it. I'm trying not to break the binding here, but I'll give you guys a little look of some of the art in it. It's got a lot of cool art in here from different people. This is a very awesome book. So if you've never seen this book before, I would suggest picking it up if you can get it for a reasonable price. I did pick up every issue I could find there, and I had them for sale at my store. But honestly, I think I only found one extra one when I was there. I think I only had two. Um, but there you see it. All kinds of awesome art in this book. Definitely check it out if you can. I'll show you the cover again here. Pinups Past and Present. So that's a cool book. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at my most recent pickups. Uh, I try to do videos more regularly than I have before. It's just hard to keep up with everything going on running a small business and taking care of the whole store, all the vendors' items, posting stuff on social media, deleting it off of social media, finding new product for the store. It's just it's all a lot of work. But I promise I'll do my best to post a few things at least every week on here. So. We'll see you guys on the next video, and as always, thank you for checking this out. Please like, please uh, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.